Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of Chaos in Southwest Nebraska. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And folks, the world has gone crazy. There is a group that has lost their collective mind. Yes, I'm talking about the transgender community. And yeah, I know I will probably be called transphobic and intolerant and possibly even way more worse things than that for talking about this subject the way I will, but I don't care. So, last week, conservative commentator from the Daily Wire, Matt Walsh, went on the Dr. Phil show to discuss the issue of transgenderism with members of the community and defenders of the community and pretty much put this nonsense to rest with truth. Just said, no, you're wrong. And I will admit, Matt can be a bit brash and pompous, arrogant at times, and a bit sanctimonious, but he's a smart guy and I agree with him on a lot of issues, including this one. And so in the segment that goes viral from the Dr. Phil show, you know, there was, you know, a woman pretending to be a man and a man pretending to be a woman, but still had a beard. And then a college professor trying to educate on pronouns in the community and everything, which, you know, college professors are usually just people that failed in the private sector, but that's subject for another day. But anyway, you know, and basically Matt says, no, you know, you don't get to choose your pronouns. You don't get to choose your gender. And, you know, the finally the professor resorts to, I don't see why this is so important to you. And he goes, because truth is important. And I don't want my kids and other people's children growing up where this is normalized. And really, later on, I saw his reaction to the segment and more thoughts on it. And he said, and I agree that there's a silent majority of people that agree with him that don't believe in this nonsense and he goes well people need to speak up and that's why i'm making this speaking up a little bit in support and trying to denormalize this craziness i mean and the thing is uh i saw warnings for this years ago i mean even back when i was in high school so well over a decade ago that kind of given my age away a little bit but anyway, he this article I found, I can't even remember what who the author was, what the title was, where it was even published, because this article was so crazy at the time, I didn't believe it could happen. And in this article, it talked about how some fringe groups on the left and fringe groups in the LGBTQ, HIJK, LMNOP community, and even some fringe groups as high as the UN, you know, wanted to make this planet this world a gender neutral society and allow people to choose their own gender and or choose to be genderless if they chose and like i said i forgot all about this article i mean i showed it to my government teacher we discussed a little bit but that was the end of it because it seemed crazy like it couldn't happen and now it's normal and it's so normal you see you know folks like bruce jenner or caitlin whatever he calls himself yes i said he you know, decides in his golden years he wants to be a woman. Or, you know, Ellen Page, she was a talented actress, and she lost her rocker, and, you know, and other than just being gay, which, whatever, your choice, but now she decides, oh, it's not enough to be gay, now I want to be a man and call myself Elliot. Or Demi Lovato, who, you know, shaves her heads, decides she's non-binary, and, you know, is going to do therapy to aliens through singing. I mean, enough with this craziness. I could say we could go back to kindergarten cop and, you know, the line, girls have a, boys have a penis, girls have a vagina. Well, they do surgery for that now, so we got to go to, I think, even back to more basic science than that. You know, I know there's genetic anomalies, but, you know, you're either born XY, male, XX, female, and that's your gender. That's the way I feel. I know a lot of people disagree, but I don't care. And... You know, no matter how much hormone therapy you have or how many surgeries you got, if you were born a male, you can't give birth. And if you were born a female, you can't impregnate. It's as simple as that. And this nonsense of forcing it onto children and all of a sudden allowing them to choose their gender. They're little kids. Knock it off. And if you are doing hormone therapy, shame on you. That's child abuse. And that needs to stop. You know, probably the best meme I saw was, it was a farmer meme, you know, I live in an ag area. But somebody posts this meme, it says, 
I ate grass as a kid that my parents didn't start identifying me as a cow. They smacked me upside the head and told me to knock that crap off. But anyway, that's like I said, I'm just making this to say, let's push back. Stop normalizing this. The media needs to quit normalizing this. It's, you know, enough's enough. Anyway, so uh, like I said earlier, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, do try and keep it somewhat civil. This is a family channel. Well, not really, but <laughs> anyways, a little humor there. Anyway, well, hope you all have a good, wonderful day. And chaos in southwest Nebraska, over and out.